How to integrate Facebook lead ads with Zapier. Hey there, wanna automate your lead generation process? Today, I'll walk you through how to integrate Facebook lead ads with Zapier. This integration is perfect for sending leads directly from Facebook to your CRM, email marketing tool, or any app you choose. So let's get started. So first of all, log into your Zapier account. If you don't have one, you'll need to create a free account. Zapier acts as the bridge between Facebook lead ads and your desired app, so this is where all the magic happens. Once logged in, click on Make a Zap, and this is where you'll set up the integration for the Trigger app. Select Facebook lead ads, you'll need to connect your Facebook account to Zapier if you haven't already. Once connected, select the specific Facebook page and lead ad from where you want to use. Next. Choose the app where you want to send the leads. This could be a CRM like Salesforce, an email service like MailChimp, or even Google Sheets. So select the specific action you want to perform like create a contact or add row to spreadsheet. Then Zapier will ask you to map the fields for your Facebook lead ad to the corresponding fields in your action app. For example, map the full name from your lead ad to the name field in your CRM or Google Sheets. This ensures that the data is transferred correctly. Before going live, test your Zap to make sure everything is working correctly. Zapier will pull in a simple lead from your Facebook form and send it to your Action app. If the test is successful, you're all set. Finally, give your Zap a name and turn it on. Now, every time someone fills out your Facebook lead ad, their information will be automatically sent to your connected app. And that's it. You've just automated your lead generation process by integrating Facebook lead ads with Zapier. This setup can save you tons of time and help you manage your leads more effectively. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions you might have. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.